Okay, there's me. Uh, this is just essentially what we're going to have to deal with here. I've made an outline of this thing. This is where we have solid metal on that side of it. And junk inside of it. So we're going to have to cut roughly on this outline. I think I'm going to do f another flange weld like I did the Plymouth for the most of it. Uh, right here, we've got kind of a weird area here. This is a gap that they just created in the body of the truck when they built it for whatever reason. And this is a perfect place to capture moisture and crud and all, all kinds of stuff in there. And so I've chipped out all that seam sealer that I could. It was really thick in there. And then we even got a spot right there on the sidewall that's blown out. But I think that my four pan is going to cover over that or at least replace it, I, mean, I guess I should say. But when we get out here, this, this outer rocker, as it's called, is just gone. This whole thing has got problems. I mean, it's rusty here. This is not the rocker, actually, but it's a seat base. And uh, I mean, it's just blown out here. It's blown out this, this fence that holds the seal in is just gone totally. So, I thought I had ordered that, but I didn't know what I was doing when I ordered it. And I actually ended up ordering the inside rocker. Well, it's called cab floor outer section. And that's this piece here, I guess. That's down in here that you can see the top of, which is not, that thing is paper thin also, so we might end up having to use part of that. So, uh... Fortunately, I see the top of the gas tank right there. That's great. That's just what I needed. I ain't dropping the gas tank out of that thing. I don't know if there's even anything in it, but uh, I have to be careful with my cuts again. I'll tell you what, I'm about tired of doing four pans. But we got to fix this thing. I can't sell it with it like this. And nobody will buy this with it rusty. It's one of those things, man. I can overlook anything else on a vehicle. They can overlook bald tires, they can overlook an engine's not running right, but you know what, if there's anything wrong with the appearance of it, or if there's any rust on it, oh no, 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 that'll just knock it out, so we're going to fix this. Okay, so I opened this thing up and uh, took a look at how this is put together. So what appears to be this case is, is that there's three distinct pieces here. This is the outer floor wall, they call it, right here. It's supposed to be in better shape than it is. It's kind of right away, but if you look under here, you can see down in there, but that's a wall right there. So it forms, it actually forms the inside rocker panel, I guess. At least I think that's what it is. It's called something. Maybe it's called the inside rocker panel, but either way, it appears to be okay except for this part up here, and that's because that there's the floor welds to this, sits over lips as you can see there. Sort of lips on top of this is welded to it, I guess, and then the outside rocker panel, which is this part, runs over the top of both of those is what it looks. Uh, it's hard to tell on this because it's so decayed, but... Uh, I think I can, this is part of the floor. I don't, I'm not, I can't even really tell where the, where the uh, line of demarcation is here on this. And I don't know that it really matters. I see there's a piece here. So anyway, all I'm doing now is I'm, try, I'm trying to get my floor pan section that I've got trimmed up to sit in here to kind of get an idea of this. But I think I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I have to order that piece, that rocker, outside rocker. It's not bad. It should be here in a few days. But I'm just going to go ahead and replace the whole thing because it's just, it's got problems. I don't want to try to rebuild that part. So anyway, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and work on this floor and get it placed. And then that'll give me an idea of where to go. But I'm going to have to definitely, I can't weld it in yet because... Well, I guess I could, but I'm gonna have to re looks like I'm gonna have to rebuild part of this. So, anyway, fun stuff here, it looks like. Okay then, so a little update. I've got the floor pan tacked in, and 
I put in this piece here. Actually, this piece was existing. This is what's called the inner rocker. And I had to add this piece, which was a replacement I bought. The inner rocker was the whole thing, and I had to cut it up to fit it over what did not need to be replaced. And it's got a big piece in the back of this and behind here that kind of sticks up for whatever reason. And then I had to fabricate these panels here that come down on the edge of the side of the seat platform, I guess you could say. Had to make these all by hand. And as I've said previously, I know these are, it's just a lot of tacks right now. I'm gonna go back and grind all that down and then go back and finish up all this welding. But that's about what I'm comfortable with doing right now. Just, you know, I haven't practiced much on doing beads or anything. And sheet metal, this is heavy sheet metal. This is 20 gauge and it's easier to deal with than 22. I noticed that right away, but I have a little bit of whoopsies here where my gap is too big and stuff like that. So it's gonna take a little bit of effort to fix that, but that's no problem. You know, we're just gonna learn as we go here and it's getting easier to do all this and the results are slowly looking better and better. So again, this is just a kind of a, a reminder and an encouragement for those of you who have not welded before, afraid to start it don't be afraid it comes to you you'll get used to it so what I've got left to do after this is I have to put this <laughs> like that organization I have to put this outer rocker skin on and I've been doing lap joints on all this not this, this is butt joints, but I've been doing lap joints on this floor pan because I'm just not going to go to that trouble. That's a lot of, this is a lot of effort to fix these. If you watch this video and many other people's videos on Howard's videos, Howard's channel, it's Old Car Alley, of course, you'll see that, you know, you have a choice in this. If you're doing something that needs to look good cosmetically, then you really, I smell gas. Where am I smelling gas from? I'm out of me. I mean, it's gas, gas, gasoline. <laughs> like Retro Chad used to say, it's a gasoline-like odor. That's what I smell. It must be coming out of this truck, I, I suppose. But anyway, uh, you know, you have a choice here of what to do on this. You can either do a lap joint, which just means you just lap it over what's there and buzz it together go on from there seal it up and go on or you do a butt joint which means that in theory the piece of metal you put in is at the same plane the same level as what's there already like this one you just butt them up together and I guess again the thing is if you're gonna see it then you probably need to try to do a butt joint because it's very obvious when you don't do one so uh, the downside of that, well, that's that. And then, you know, while I look at it, if you're not ever going to see it, if it just needs to be structural, needs to be good, and I don't have no problem doing a, a lap joint, but out here I'm going to try to do a nicer one. So it's not, still not going to be nice. It's going to look like it's been repaired, but that's okay because it has been repaired and we're not entering this thing in a show anywhere. Now, like I said, Howard's car, that guy that he's working on, he needs to, you know, He's got to do the best possible job on that. So this here, I could easily just put a lap over this and put it down here, but it looks pretty tacky that way, no pun intended. So I'm probably going to start, after I get all this done, maybe tomorrow afternoon or the next, I've got to finally mow grass. So I'll probably maybe do that tomorrow. But anyway, the first good afternoon I get, I'm going to start dealing with this and getting this thing probably where I can just sit it in here and butt weld it together the best I can with it. I'm still having one of my downsides I've had on this welding is just trying to get these patterns done right. I mean, I can, you know, I can do it. It's just that along the way, sometimes my cuts don't go the direction that they need to go and they look weird and I have to end up adding a piece of metal back in that didn't ever need to have to be added but you know it is what it is it's a learning experience and if we survive all this fire stuff then maybe down the line we'll laugh about it <laughs> 
But this is, you know, this is a common theme for these thing, for these trucks to rust right here because for whatever reason, General Motors decided there needed to be a recess right here in a channel. And that's just an excellent place to have water collect in here. And then when water collects, people die. Now, when water collects, guess what it does? It rusts things out. So uh, we're just going to seam seal. When I get all this welding, we're going to seam seal the hell out of this. Because, you know, it's just it's what we're going to do. So... Um, I think I'm going to have to spot weld this thing down because there's no way to get in here and weld behind that. That ain't happening, so I have to do that too, but that's okay. We can do that. We'll make it happen. All right, guys. Well, that's what's going on, and I'm kind of getting really anxious to get this thing finished. I'm going to have to order a floor mat for it. I don't know if this thing ever came with a carpet or it came with a rubber mat. I would surmise it came with a rubber mat, but the seat was cloth in it. I mean, I have the seats just to back there covered up, but the, the upholstery is cloth, like the lure, which to me, it seems like if you got a work truck like this that you're going to be constantly getting in and out of, you don't need carpet and you don't need uh, cloth upholstery. It just holds dirt. So probably going to put a vinyl, black vinyl floor mat, full, full length mat in it, and then put tan upholstery in it, vinyl. So, but I might just get this thing back going again because... I need to use it. So, anyway. I just sent off the night before last to get my registration renewed, so I'll be ready to go. And then I got to do a few things mechanical with it. I'm going to address those leaks again, which I didn't fix the first time sufficiently. And I probably need to take the drive shaft out and get it balanced or check the U joints. It's got a vibration in it. So. All right, I hear the train coming, so let me log off here. Bring it back just in a jiff. Okay, so after extensive effort, I have this outer rocker panel welded in. And I bet welded it. That's why it was a lot of effort because it's not easy to do for me at least. So you, you, know, you gotta try to get it uh, where it is indecipherable from the rest of it. So. This is a cheap panel, and plus, I'm not totally skilled yet with this, so I got it pretty good. There's a couple on the ends of this thing, for whatever reason, it had a low spot, and I, it's probably just due to me not adjusting the, the fit all the way, so the rest of it cleaned up pretty well. But there's still a few of voids here that I'll just body work in. I'm not going to worry about it, because you can only grind so much metal off and weld so much on this before it starts deteriorating, so... And I'll have to get this up in the corner with my little Dremel, which is, I hate using that thing, but it's all I got put in there. Put a few spot welds in it, down, hold it down over there. And again, the same deal here, you know, just, it had a low dip right here, and I wish I had noticed that closer, but I didn't, so. But, and this is, I've got to repair this. This has had a rotted spot on this I didn't catch, so. Metal back here is good, though, so. Anyway, this will all body work up pretty good. I'll just put a little bit of filler all over all this. And I'll worry about it because it's in a pickup truck and we're not going to worry about being perfect about it. So we got a floor in, the side to the seat base in, we got the inside rocker in, we got the outside rocker top in, and I fluid filmed it and all that. It's everything I could do for it. I'm going to go back and probably, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in this gap right here. It needs to have something put in there for sure. But uh, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I don't know if I can get any seam sealer in there or not. I definitely can up here. Get some in there there. And that's fine. So anyway, this thing's going to be vacuumed out again. It's got just all kinds of metal debris and stuff in here. I tell you, it seems like this all I've done for the past couple months is weld and grind metal. <laughs> Anyway, so that's what's up. So I'm going to go in and have some lunch. And uh thought about taking my car out today. The rain is supposed to come later, but I don't know how much later. So I'm going to look at the radar and see what it looks like. If it looks like it's going to hold off for a couple, three hours, i get it out and run it up to town and back, I guess. All right? Yeah.
Buzz is back. So I'm not a killer of animals or creatures normally, but sometimes you get pushed to the point that you have to teach something a lesson that it won't soon forget. And in this case, uh, something's been crapping all over my car. That was the end of the line for him. Don't crap all over somebody's Plymouth or you'll pay. Okay, so uh, I am done with this rust repair project on this truck. So I think it looks pretty decent for a truck. I didn't try to go too crazy on getting everything just perfect because of this mainly wanted to get everything solid and seam sealed and painted and you know everything I could do to prevent any more rust on this so uh, turned out pretty good like I said I did this you see a seam around there I did a lap joint on the four pan I just didn't just didn't feel like trying to fight in a butt joint on that trying to make it just perfect like I said this is all gonna be hidden uh, I don't know if this truck had a mat in it originally or a carpet the seat don't mind the mess back here. This seat is cloth, so I have to look on the sticker there and see if it specifies on this. It may have had a carpet in it. If it did, that's what I'll go back with. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to buy a couple more, some new door seals for it. And these strikers, this helps keep the door closed solid to help prevent any more water intrusion, hopefully. But this truck, all the effort I went to, this truck should not ever have another problem with rusty floors. So, I mean, I just went to town on it everywhere I could. So, I think it's going to be good. And uh, I'll see what the budget looks like. And we might go ahead and order carpet and a seat cover for it. The actual seat cover to redo the seat. I'd like to get that done. So, uh, Anyway, it's not going to be, a, you know, it's not a restoration or anything like that. We're just trying to keep this truck in good condition. It's pretty rust free. It's got, I was going to show you that upholstery, but I can't get in there to it right now. I'll do it a little later. But the bed's all nice and solid on the truck. It's never had any rust on it, anything like they tend to do on this one. It's got. The last remaining issues it has as far as any rust or is somebody's noticed there that the cab corners are starting to blow out on it. The outer rockers are fine, you know, as far as the, the out the bottom. But that top was just gone. But anyway, this is this this cab corner is coming apart. And the other one is starting to, but the bed's the bed's fine. That right there, that's a it's one of those urethane uh, stone guards. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Excuse me for the sniffing. I'm so sorry. We've had pollen like crazy lately. So, okay, that's about it on this truck project. I thank you for watching and tuning in to this. Wasn't anything terribly exciting, just a lot of welding. I did go under there and seam seal all the joints and everything up under it, and I'm going to go give it a coat of paint on those four pan uh, that four pan and i'm about to get in here and finish up the trunk on this plymouth so this has been a productive weekend so i've just been staying home and staying away from people and self-isolating and all that stuff man i tell you i don't know where this thing is going to end at you know I, I don't ever try to be political on my videos because it just leads to arguments but our president dropped the ball. Whether you like him or loathe him, he dropped the ball on this thing. You know, I'm going to quote one thing he said, and then I'm going to wrap it up on this video. But, well, two things. Number one, he said it was a hoax. And then number two, he said it was just one person coming from China and it won't amount to anything, something like that. Does it look like that's what it was? I hope you remember that in November. Hey guys, thanks for watching. See ya. I was about to go inside and uh, I noticed that uh, crane flies are having an orgy on my garage door. Yeah. Oh. He's left.
left out or she's left out. Maybe she'll have to find a hook up here pretty soon. Wow, there's be something in the water, huh? I opened this up to see how this is constructed. And what it appears to be is that there's what's called the inside rocker arm. Or actually, I'm sorry. 